Listening forty one, movers practice test, listening part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What did you do on Saturday morning, Paul? I went shopping with my mum. Did you go to the supermarket? No, we went to the market, the one next to the library. No, the one in the square. Oh yes, I know. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What did you buy? First, we bought a plant for the living room. A plant? Yes. Then Mum wanted to buy a camera. Did she find one? No, there weren't any cameras in the market, but we bought some new toothbrushes. Two. What was the best part of the morning? Well, we saw a clown. A clown? Where? In the market? No, he wasn't in the market. Was he in a shop? No, he was outside under a tree. Three. What did he do? I wanted him to dance, but he didn't. Did he sing? No, he bounced a ball. Was he funny? <laughs> yes, he was. He was great. Four. What did you do after that? We went home. It was lunchtime. Did you go in the car? No, my mum hasn't got a car. So did you catch a bus, or did you walk? We caught a bus. Listening forty two. Listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions about food? Okay. Thanks. What did you have for breakfast today? I had a big breakfast. I had sausages and an egg. And what did you have to drink? Oh, I had some milk. Which drinks do you like best? Juice and tea. What's your favourite vegetable? Uh, I like carrots, but peas are my favourite. Listening forty-three. Listen and read, then act. One. Do you want to go to the playground? I can't. I have to make the lunch. Two. I'm hungry. How much food have you got? We've got lots. Would you like to come here for lunch? Yes, please. Three. Hello. I'm here. I'm hot and I'm very thirsty. Hi, Jack. Put these on the table, please. Now I think we've got some lemonade. Oh, where is it? Four. It's here. It's very nice. Oh, Jack, that's our lunch. Sorry, I couldn't wait. Listening forty-four. Listen and tick or cross. What do you have to do at home, Jack? Do you have to clean your bedroom? Yes, I do. I don't like doing it. But I have to do it every week. Do you have to take the dog for a walk? We haven't got a dog, so no, I don't have to do that. Do you have to do the shopping? I like shopping, but I don't have to do it. My parents do it. Do you have to cook the dinner? Yes, I do. I cook the dinner every Wednesday. What about cleaning the windows? Do you have to do that? No, my mum does that. Do you have to wash the car? No, I don't. And do you have to eat fruit and vegetables? Yes, we eat lots. I love them. And one last thing, do you have to do your homework? I think 
all children have to do their homework. Yes, I have to do that. Listening 45. Movers practice test. Listening part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you help me with my homework, please? What do you have to do? I have to write about my birthday party. OK, let's look at it. OK, when was the party? It was on Monday. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. 1. Where was the party? Was it at your house? Yes, that's right. What's your address? Well, the house number is 76. 2. And what is the street called? It's Sunny Street. How do you spell that? S U N N Y. Right, you have to write that here. All right, I'm writing it now. 3. What did you eat? We had lots of food. There were lots of sandwiches. And did you have ice cream? No, we didn't. But we had some cake. Oh, a birthday cake. And what did you drink? Uh, lemonade. 4. How many children were at the party? Well, there were 12 friends. That's a lot. 12 children then. No, I was there too. Oh, yes. 13 then. 5. Which grown-ups were there? Well, my mum was there and my dad. Only two grown-ups? No, my grandpa was there too. All right. Now you can start your homework. Thank you. Listening 46. Listen and complete the question. The seventh letter is O. The sixteenth letter is K. The twentieth letter is S. The third letter is A. The eighth letter is D. The eleventh letter is Y. The second letter is H. The eighteenth letter is B. The fifth letter is F. The fourteenth letter is L. Listening 47. Listen and check. In picture A, there's a park. But in picture B, there's a swimming pool. Here, there are three cars. But here, there are four. In this picture, the boy is skipping. But in this one, he's running. Here, the woman has got a handbag, but here, she's got some flowers. This door is green, but this one is red. Listening 48. Listen and check. 1. These are all clothes, but this isn't. 2. In these pictures, they're all climbing. In this one, they're skating. 3. These are all food, 
But this isn't. 4. These are all in the cupboard. But this is on it. Listening 49. Listen and check. Tell me the answers, Daisy. Number one. Pandas eat meat. Is that right or wrong? It's wrong. Pandas eat plants. OK. Number two. All sharks have got teeth. That one is right. OK. Number three. Most crocodiles live in the sea. I think that's wrong. Yes, it's wrong, but some crocodiles live in the sea. Oh, really? What about number four? A lion is a kind of cat. Is that right? Yes, it's right. A lion is a big cat. Number five. A fly has got eight legs. That's wrong. Yes, it is. A fly has got six legs, but a spider has got eight legs. OK. Now number six. Crocodiles can run more quickly than hippos. I don't know. Is that right or wrong? It's wrong. The fastest hippo can run more quickly than the fastest crocodile. OK. Number seven. Bats can't stand up. Is that wrong? No, it's right. They can't stand up. Now number eight. The biggest whale is bigger than a bus. That's right too. Some whales are very big. Number nine. Hippos eat plants and fish. Is that right? No, it's wrong. They eat plants, but they don't eat fish. Now the last sentence. The giraffe is the tallest animal in the world. I think that's right. Yes, it is. Listening 50. Listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions about animals? OK. Thanks. Have you got any pets? Yes. I've got two mice. They live in a cage in my bedroom. Are you frightened of spiders? Spiders? No. But I'm frightened of snakes. What's your favourite animal? Well, I like lots of animals. But I like big animals best. Elephants are my favourite. Listening 51. Listen and read. Then act. 1. What's in that box? It's my new pet. What is it? I can't tell you. 2. When did you buy it? I didn't buy it. Oh. Can I see it? No, you mustn't open the box. Three. Why? Because my pet can fly. Oh, be careful, Jack. Four. Oh, no, it flew out of the box. Daisy, that isn't a pet. It's a fly. <laughs> Listening 52. Listen and number the pictures. 1. My mouse jumped out of my shoe. Then it ran round the chair. 2. Then it ran up my leg. Then it jumped onto my book. 3. Then it jumped off my book. Then it ran down my leg. 4. Then it jumped onto my foot. Then it jumped into my shoe. Listening 53. Listen and check. Look at these pictures, Daisy. Which of these animals can swim more quickly? The dolphin or the shark? Oh, I don't know. The shark? That's right. And now... Look at the pictures of a parrot and a whale. They can both sing. But which of these animals can sing more loudly? Uh, the parrot? No, the whale. 
It's the loudest animal in the world. Oh. And which of these animals can run more quickly, the giraffe or the horse? I think it's the giraffe, because a giraffe's bigger than a horse. Wrong. It's the horse. Listening fifty four, movers practice test. Listening part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. What are you doing? We're having a party. Great. Is it your birthday? No, it's Mary's birthday. Which one is she? She's the one with the blue sweater. Right, I can see her. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that boy? Which one? The one who's dancing. There are two boys dancing. Oh yes, I mean the one with blonde hair. Oh, he's called Charlie. Two. Is Jim here too? Yes, he is. Look, he's there. I can't see him. Is he dancing too? No, he's sitting on the stairs. He likes talking more than dancing. What's that on his T-shirt? It's a dolphin. Three. Who's the girl by the door? The one with a blue coat. No, the one who's carrying a present. That's my friend Jane. That's a big present. Yes, it is. Four. Where's your brother Fred? He's next to the table. What's he doing? He's putting a hat on. Oh, I see. He's dressing up. That's right. He's a pirate. Five. Look, that girl's drinking a cup of tea. Which girl? The one with the glasses. Oh, that's Lily. I'd like a cup of tea too. <laughs> okay, let's make some tea. Listening fifty five, movers practice test. Listening part five. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this picture. It's a pet shop. That's right. Can you see the fish? Yes, I can. There are lots of them. Colour the longest fish orange, please. Okay. Can you see the orange fish? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Now, can you see the boy? The one who's wearing glasses. No, the one with curly hair. Can I colour his hair? All right. Colour it brown, please. Two. Shall I colour an animal? Yes. Colour one of the rabbits. Which one? The one which isn't in a cage. Can I colour it black? Yes. Three. Please, can you write a word for me? Okay. Can you see the picture on the wall? Yes, it's a picture of some kittens. That's right. Now, write the word "cats" on the wall above the picture. All right. 
Four. What can I colour now? Look at the man. He's carrying a bag. That's right. Can you see the star on the bag? Yes. Can I colour it yellow? Five. Do you want to colour one last thing? Yes, please. I'd like to colour the parrot. There are three parrots in the picture. Oh, yes. Shall I colour the one that's got a long tail? Yes. Colour that parrot red. Listening 56. Look, listen and draw lines. Where did you go last week? We went to my cousin's house. What was the weather like? Well, on Monday, it was sunny. Was it hot? Yes, it was. And on Tuesday? It wasn't sunny. It was cloudy. What was the weather like on Wednesday? It rained. And it was windy too. Did it rain on Thursday too? No, it didn't. It snowed. Oh, and what about Friday? Friday was nice. It was cold, but it was sunny. And Saturday? Today is Saturday. Oh, yes. Listening 57. Listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions about the weather? OK. The first question is, what's the weather like today? Uh, it's cloudy, but it isn't raining. And the next question, does it often snow in your country? Yes, it does, but that's OK. I love the snow. And here's the third question. What do you wear when it's cold? I wear a coat and a hat. Do you wear a scarf? No, I haven't got one. OK, thank you. That was the last question. Listening 58. Listen and read, then act. 1. I went for a walk yesterday with my dad. I don't like going for walks. They're boring. 2. Our walk was exciting. Why? What was the weather like? Was it very windy? No, but it was cold. I had to put on a coat and a scarf. 3. What did you see? We saw some bats. And we saw lots of stars because there weren't any clouds. Four. You went for a walk at night? Wow, I like being outside at night. So do I. It's better than going for a walk in the afternoon. Listening 59. Movers practice test. Listening part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Mr Walker is telling Sue about his family and friends and what they did on Saturday afternoon. What did each person do? Hello, Mr Walker. What did you do on Saturday? Well, in the morning I went to work. And in the afternoon, I washed the car. It was very dirty. It's clean now. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. What did your grandson do? Well, Paul went to the swimming pool with his friends. It was cloudy, but it wasn't cold. He loves water. 
He often goes to the pool on Saturdays. Did you see Mary yesterday? My sister? No, I didn't. She went to the town because she wanted to buy some clothes. Did she drive? No, she didn't. She caught a bus. She doesn't like driving. And she likes talking to people on the bus. What did Vicky do? Did she go for a swim too? No, she didn't. It was her friend's birthday. He invited her to his party. Was it a good party? Yes. They had lots of fun. They listened to music and they played games. And they ate lots of sweets and ice cream with chocolate sauce. What about your friend Fred? What did he do? He went to his favourite place. It's a place where you can watch films. Oh, the cinema. That's right. He watched a film about pirates who go to an island and find some treasure. I saw that film last week. It had my favourite film star in it. It was really good. What about Mrs Walker? Where did she go? She didn't go out. She stayed at home. What did she do? She made a cake. We ate it after dinner. It was delicious. She's very good at cooking. She made some biscuits too. Listening 60. Listen and circle. Can I ask you some questions, please? Yes. OK. What colour are your eyes? They're brown. Look. Do you wear glasses? Yes, I do. But I'm not wearing them today. How many grown-up teeth have you got? Uh, nine. No, I've got eleven. I've got 32 grown-up teeth. <laughs> Thank you. That was the last question. Listening 61. Listen and read, then act. 1. How about playing football, Daisy? No, thanks. I've got a headache. I need to sit down. OK. 2. Wow, that was a big kick. Ow! Ow! Are you all right, Jack? Three. No, I'm not. My foot hurts. Oh, dear. I think you need to sit down, too. Four. Oh, no. I think the ball hit your dad. My head hurts. That was naughty, Jack. Sorry, Dad. Listening 62. Listen, check and say the chant. Which cat is fatter, the black one or the white one? The white cat is fatter. Can't you see? Which man is stronger, the tall one or the short one? The short man is stronger. He's stronger than me. Which dog is cleverer, the brown one or the grey one? The brown dog is cleverer. Can't you see? Which car is louder, the big one or the small one? The small car is louder. It's too loud for me. Which tree is taller, the green one or the red one? The red tree is taller. Can't you see? Which monkey's naughtier, the fat one or the thin one? The fat monkey's naughtier. He's naughtier than me. Listening 63. Movers practice test listening part 2. Listen and look. There is one example. Excuse me, I work here. 
Please, can I ask you some questions? All right. Did you come here last week? Yes, I did. I came here on Tuesday. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. One. Who did you come here with? Friends or family? I came with my family. How many children have you got? Two. How old are they? They're twelve and eight. Two. Did you have lunch in the cafe? Yes, we did. Did you like the food? Oh yes, it was great. Did you have a sandwich? No, I had a salad. I wasn't very hungry because I had a cold. Three. Did you have a drink? No. Oh wait, yes I did. What did you have? A cup of coffee. Four. What's your favourite sport? That's a difficult question. I like hockey. Oh yes. But I like tennis better. So is that your favourite? Yes. Five. Only one more question. What's your name? I'm Mrs. Ball. Is that B A L L? That's right. Now I need to go home. That's okay. That was the last question. Thank you. Listening sixty four, movers practice test. Listening part four. Look at the pictures. Listen and look. There is one example. I went to the hospital on Saturday. Why? What was the matter? Did you have a temperature? No, but I had a bad stomach ache. Oh dear! Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Was the doctor a man or a woman? A man. What did he look like? Well, he had a beard, but he didn't have a moustache. And did he have glasses? Yes, he did. Oh, I know him. That's Doctor Smith. Two. Did you have to sleep at the hospital? Yes, I did. One night. What did you have for dinner? Some people had pasta, but I had salad. With bread? No, with chips. Oh, very nice. Three. My friend came to the hospital in the evening. Oh. He brought me a present. What was it? A comic, and a new toy. What was the toy? It's a robot. I've got it here. Look. Four. I was fine on Sunday. Did you go home in the morning? Yes, I did. Who took you home? Your parents. My grandfather took me in his car. Where were your parents? They couldn't do it because they were at work. Listening sixty-five. Listen and circle. Please, can I ask you some questions? Yes, that's fine. Which do you like best? The town or the country? Uh, I like the town, but the countryside is better. Are there any mountains near your home? No, but I saw lots of mountains when I was on holiday. What do you do when you go to the countryside? Sometimes I go for a walk with my family, and when the weather's nice, I like going for a bike ride. How do you travel to school? Do you go by car? No, I don't. I sometimes walk and I sometimes go by bike. Thank you. 
Listening sixty six. Listen and read. Then act. One. Look, there's something under that tree. Let's look. I can't see it very well. Is it an animal? I don't know. It isn't moving. Two. I think it's something big. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. Three. We have to jump. Ugh. Don't worry. It's safe. I know. I'm not frightened, Jack. Four. Come on. Walk carefully. I am walking carefully, Jack. Ah! It's only a bird, Jack. It's sweet. Don't be afraid. Listening sixty-seven. Listen and write the numbers. One. Did you have a good day yesterday, Jack? Yes, thanks. We got up and had breakfast. Then we cleaned the kitchen. Oh, but when the kitchen was clean, we went for a walk. Where? In the forest. Two. Great. Did you go to a cafe for lunch? No. We took some sandwiches. When we were hungry, we stopped in the forest and had a picnic. Three. What was the weather like? Well, after lunch, it started to rain. Did you put on your coats? No, we didn't have our coats. We stood under a tree. Four. What next? There was a bird in the tree. It started to sing. Did you see the bird? Yes, and I took a photo. It was beautiful. Five. Did you go home after that? No, the rain stopped, and we walked up a mountain. Wow. Six. After that, we were tired. What did you do then? We caught a bus and went home. Listening sixty eight, movers practice test. Listening part one. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, what are you doing? We're working. We're with our teacher. Are these all your friends? Yes. Who's the girl who's talking to the teacher? That's Sally. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. That's my friend Jim. Where? Is he talking to? No, he's sitting on the grass. What's he looking at? The flowers. He's drawing them. Two. Who's the girl with long fair hair? Is it straight or curly? Straight. Oh, that's Jane. Three. What's that boy doing? Which one? The one who's looking at a map. No, the one with a camera. He's videoing the rabbits. Oh right. What's his name? He's called Peter. Four. Is Mary here? Yes. Look, she's writing something in a book. I can see two girls who are writing. Oh yes, I mean the one with blue trousers. Right. I can see her. Five. Why isn't that boy working? Which one? The one by the wall. I don't know.
There's a spider on his shoulder. Oh, that's Fred. He loves spiders. Listening 69. Listen and number. 1. Are you cold? Yes. It's snowing. And it's windy too. Where's your coat? It's at home. What's your name? Mary. 2. Are you OK, Jim? No, I'm not very well. What's the matter? I've got a headache, and I think I've got a temperature. Oh dear, you must go home. Three. Are you going to the swimming pool, Fred? Yes, I am. Look, my friends are on the bus. Why aren't you on the bus too? Because I haven't got a ticket. Oh dear. Four. I love my kittens. They're beautiful, Vicky. Yes, they are. Do you think they're hungry? Oh, yes. Can I have some food for them? Yes, it's in the cupboard. Five. Are you all right, Peter? Yes, but I'm hot. Have you got something to drink? Yes, I have. I've got some juice. But I haven't got a glass. Oh. Six. Do you want to see the dolphins? Yes, please. All right. What's your name? It's Jane. Can you write your name here, please? Can I have a pen, please? Listening 70. Listen and order the pictures. Picture 1. Two children are at the cinema. The cinema's closed. They're sad. Picture two. It's raining. The children are running. Picture three. Now they're in a shop. The girl is buying a DVD. Picture four. The children are sitting in a living room. They're watching the DVD.